The 10 and 6 AFC North Division champion Cincinnati Bengals travel to Cleveland. Cleveland is without Baker Mayfield coming off their loss against Pittsburgh at 7 and 9 on the season. Joe Burrow, coach, we talked about him every week on how good he is and how much better he's getting each and every week throwing the football, leading his team. The last two games he's thrown for 971 yards. He's just lighting it up. Those young wide receivers are doing a terrific job. And his head coach, Zach Taylor, has done a great job with his football team. Each year they're getting better and better. But what I'm impressed last year he blew his knee out, blew his ACL and MCL out. He only played half the season, but he came back this season, and he just looks tremendous out there on the football field. Well, he was great in college as well. One of the reasons he was great in college, he had a wide receiver <laughs> by the name of Jamar Chase, and he has done a tremendous job. Had well over 200 receiving yards, and I think he is a rookie of the year. It's going to come down to Jamar Chase or possibly uh, Matt Jones. But I, I think Cincinnati is really a wonderful story this year. Not only Jill Burroughs, but you have to look at Joe Mixon, the running back. He has 1,205 yards rushing this year, which is awfully good. We talked about Jamar Chase. Uh, since he's averaged 27.8 points per game, Mark, but they're only giving up 22. And, and so when I look at Cincinnati, they've won three in a row. They've, they've clinched their division. They're going to be in the playoff. Are they going to be content to be in the playoff? Or are they going to move forward? Uh, let's look at the Cleveland. I, I think the one fact, that gets an awful lot of blame and doesn't deserve it is Baker Mayfield. Yeah, he's not going to play. He's been injured all year. This past week, he was sacked five times, had five passes knocked down at the line of scrimmage. He's thrown for over 3,000 yards, 17 touchdowns, 13 intercepts. But, Mark, he doesn't have an awful lot of receivers. Since they lost Odell Beckham, he has really had to struggle to find people open. Now, granted that Chubbs is a great running back, 1,201 yards, eight touchdowns, uh, and a great average per rush. But when I look at this, the lack of a great receiver, that's not going to solve the problem by changing the quarterback. Consequently, I look for Cincinnati to win this football game, 31-17, to 17, Mark. That's a good choice. I like Cincinnati in this game also. They're giving three points. They're a big favorite. Are they going to cruise? How many players are going to play? How many players are going to sit? The one thing about Cleveland, that this is a team that everybody expected to do a lot better this year, to go back and get back to the playoffs again. They've underachieved. They've got five players that made the Pro Bowl this year, and they didn't make the playoff. That's underachieving in my book. And Baker Mayfield, you can put the blame on him. Yes, he hasn't been that great, but still. This is a team that should have found a way to make the playoffs somehow, some way. I got Cincinnati winning this game. I don't care if Joe Burrow only plays a half in this game. It's not going to matter. Cincinnati, just because of their pride, they're going to win this football game. And I've got them winning this game 27-14. Well, the fact that Cincinnati has just played so well. Anytime you have Burrows under center and Jamar Chase and Ch uh, uh, Mixon, you've got a chance to win no matter. That's why I think Cincinnati will prevail in this football game.